बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज मुशफिका अख्तर चौधरी फ्रॉम द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ डॉक्टर खस्तगीर गवर्नमेंट गर्ल्स हाई स्कूल हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर हेल एंड हार्टी आवर टुडेज क्लास इज फॉर क्लास एट स्टूडेंट्स एंड टूडे वी आर गन रीड इंग्लिश सेकेंड पेपर ग्रामर Let's start with our class. Dear students, look at the screen. There are four sentences on the screen. But they all are not correct sentences. Now, tell me which sentences are not correct. The girl walks slowly. The second sentence is the girl walks slowly. The third one is they are swimming in the pond and the fourth one is they swimming in the pond look at these sentences the first sentence and the last sentence are not correct but can you tell me why they are not correct yes the verbs in these sentences are not in correct form okay so these two are correct sentence in this slide today we are going to know about the right form of verbs dear students after we have studied the lesson we will be able to tell about subject verb agreement we will be able to use the right form of verbs in writing sentences and we will be able to complete gap filling activities in grammar test uh look at our first example oxygen dash be necessary for living being what do we need to put in the gap think about the subject here the subject is oxygen it is an uncountable abstract noun and we all know that be verb means am is are was were so here for the subject oxygen we have to use the auxiliary verb is so what would be the sentence the sentence will be oxygen is necessary for living being okay now the next slide uh there are two examples the first one is how you dash solve the problem yesterday uh dear girls tell me what is the tense here it is in past tense because here is a term yesterday okay and uh, it is an interrogative sentence so the auxiliary verb will go before the subject so the correct sentence is how did you solve the problem yesterday okay then the next one what you dash do tomorrow uh dear students mm, uh, which is the tense here yes here is the word tomorrow that indicates that it is a future tense and it is also an interrogative sentence so we have to use an auxiliary verb before the subject and for future tense we can use will okay so the sentence will be what will you do tomorrow okay then let's go to some more examples then who dash talk at this moment here look at the term at this moment it indicates that it is a present continuous tense and uh, what is the indication of present continuous tense yes it is be verb plus 
verb with ing okay so what can we write who is talking at this moment here talk becomes is talking all right yeah then another sentence mr zaman dash leave the village long ago dear students uh, what is the tense here yes it is a uh, past it is in past tense because here is a word long ago and the past form of the word leave is left so the answer will be mr zaman left the village long ago all right okay dear students there are some more examples uh, or some more examples okay uh, five years dash pass since we first met look at this sentence here is a term since if since is used as a conjunction to add two clauses then the clause before since will be in present perfect and the clause after since will be in simple past okay so the correct sentence will be five years have passed since we first met okay then we have another example it was many years since the dash come to dhaka uh it is a little bit different dear different dear students look at this uh the sentence parts before since is in simple past tense and in this case we have to use past perfect and in the last part of the sentence okay so the sentence structure will be like that simple past plus since plus past perfect okay so the correct answer will be it was many years since they had come to dhaka uh then we have another example that is when he finished the war he dashed to bed dear students remember one thing uh in compound or complex sentence if one clause is in past form then the other clause will be will also be in past form okay and it is a complex sentence and the first part of the sentence that is when the he finished the work it is in past tense so the last portion will also be in past tense okay so let's uh, find out the answer and that is when he finished the work he went to bed do you understand it okay then he talks as if he dash everything it is an interesting rules dear students uh if you have a sentence with as if or as though in the middle of the sentence and the first part of the sentence is in simple present then the last portion will be in simple past and here is the structure simple present plus as if or as though plus simple past so the sentence will be he talks as if he knew everything okay students we have another example if i were a bird i dash fly in the sky look at this sentence if you have a sentence with if and where uh, and in this case if plus where is used to express unreal future and so you have to add would uh, before the verb in the sentence okay so the answer will be if i were a bird i would fly in the sky okay 
dear girls in our today's class we have done quite a good number of rules and exercises and now let's have a review on what we have done till now and for that reason we have some exercises on our screen uh, let's uh, do this exercises first one once there are dash be an intelligent boy we have to fill the gap with the right form of be verb and that's why first we have to find out the tense of the sentence and here is the term once that indicates that it is past tense so we can use was in the place of be so the answer is was uh exercise number 2 i dash complete my homework before you came uh what do you think students uh, what is the correct answer for this gap here there is a word before and the past uh, simple past form uh, of the clause after before indicates that it is a past perfect tense so the correct answer is had completed i had completed my homework before you came exercise number 3 they dash play for 2 hours here for 2 hours tells us that it is present perfect continuous tense and so the answer will is have been playing as then we have exercise number 4 that is hardly he dash leave the place when the fire dash break out my dear students you all know the rule by now isn't it yes for the first gap we have to use had he left and for the second gap we have to use broke instead of break so the answer is had he left and broke exercise number 5 if i were rich i dash help the poor uh, and what is the answer yes we have to add would before the verb help so the answer is would help exercise number 6 he speaks as if he dash mad uh, dear students um, can you remember what we have to use if a sentence contains as if or as though yes the answer is where okay uh, so we have done the exercises my dear students these are some rules of using appropriate verbs in the blanks but remember one thing these are not enough for you so all you need to do is practice following these examples you have to do lots of practices to answer this grammar question correctly so please do practice a lot my dear students in your exam you will not get this type of detached sentences in the question paper you are given a complete passage with 10 gaps in it to fill with the right form of verbs and here is an example of it my dear girls it is your homework for today okay and the question is complete the following text with right forms of verbs given in the box and you are given 10 verbs in the box and you have to use it with their uh, right form in the right place okay and here is a passage let us read the passage one day the great poet firdosi dash by sultan mahmud to dash shahnama in honor of the sultan the sultan dash to pay firdosi a gold coin for each verse Ferdowsi dash the writing and each dash found dash 
60,000 verses. Now, Sultan dash to pay 60,000 gold coins. He dash to pay silver coins instead of gold coins. The poet dash to take silver coins and dash to his village. Now, dear girls, you have to put the right kind of verbs in their right forms in these gaps. And this is your homework. So, these all for today. Thank you and goodbye girls.